excited. Let the show continue. <gasps> So, as you guys can see, having a heck of a day today. We got wind blowing in, knocking down our backdrop. We got splashes falling off the of stands. We got batteries breaking. But you know what? It's not gonna stop us. It's not gonna stop us. It's Super Bowl Sunday coming up this week. So I'm repping my Chiefs, but we're about to do an awesome shoot with Westlake High School softball. So you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be an incredible shoot. We'll put some behind the scene images in there for you guys to see. And you know what we do, we make things look good. So let's get this thing cracking. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the setup that we got today, just so everybody can kind of get an idea of what we're working with. So Gage is gonna follow me. So we have used all of our two Westcott kits. As you can see here, we got our 400. And on this 400, on the front, we just have a diffusion layer on it. It's a magnetic diffusion layer. It comes with the, uh, wait, hello. It comes with the kit that we bought. It's just a little diffuser thing. It's just like a fog layer and it kind of softens the light in the background and it's magnetized. So that's, we have that rolling on one of them. And then we actually have the pro light mods on here. And we have our two 200s back here. Um, very important if you get the 200 kit from Westcott that you get this Bowens mount bracket here. This is the full size Bowens mount bracket. Um, if you don't have this bracket, you're not gonna be able to use a lot of the Bones mounts things because it has like a tiny Bones mount built into the light. So you need to get these. I think they're about 30 bucks each. So we have a 200 on this one and a 200 on the opposite one over there. Okay. Then since we only have five lights right now, we have another 200. We put the same little bracket that I was telling you guys about on here with the same kind of diffusion setup on it. So you're probably looking and you're like, why is this one closer than that one to the subject? Because our subject is gonna actually stand about right here. As you can tell, this one's further back than this one. Um, I have these both set on channel C. So because they're two different powers, this is a 400 watt strobe, and this one over here is actually a 200 watt strobe. So the power I think we're running on it is 7.6. So 7.6 from a 400 watt strobe is a lot more powerful than 7.6 on a 200 watt strobe. So we had to compensate that by taking the 200 watt strobe closer to our subject and the 400 watt strobe a little bit further back. And we kind of tested, you'll see in the video how we tested to make sure the light was the same on gauge on both sides. We'll put in a few sample images somewhere around here for you guys to check it out just to see what we were working with at first and what we actually ended up with. Okay, and then our main light, we have another 400 on a C-Stand, which is made by Newer. A Newer C-Stand, I, I like Newer, they're uh, affordable. Uh, this is just your, I don't know what number it is, but it's a Newer stand. And we have our Westcott Rapid Octabox on here. This is our older one, it's not the plus. Uh, when we're outside banging stuff like we are today, unfortunately, we wanna use older equipment. So we got a 400 and this one's set on 8.1. So it's not quite all the way, but it's doggone near all the way. And we got it boomed out so we don't see any light stands for our subject. And uh, I think it's gonna make some incredible images. So you're gonna love it. Oh, also we tried to do an orange gel, but it just wasn't it. It just wasn't looking right. So we took it off and we did the two white lights. It kind of didn't make sense because we had white light coming from the pro light mods and it was just this random orange hitting the subject. So it was like, it's not believable. So we actually put these two lights that we showed you on the frosters, we put those up to add a edge light on our subject just to make it look a little bit more def defined because it's literally pitch black back there. We've got, uh, we're shooting high speed sync on the camera, F2.8, so we get some uh, fall off from the light so you can't see it as much. And then we're shooting, uh, that's actually the coach calling me now. So you can keep rolling. Hey coach, what's up? Hey, where do you want us to go? We are under the batting cage because we just got like way laid by rain earlier. Okay, um, at the softball field? Yes. I see the girls walking outside. Okay, I don't see them. I just pulled up, but I'll text them and tell them to come out here. Yeah, we're in the batting cage. Okay, great. Right, bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. So yeah, we had the orange, which it looked awesome. But then we realized 
we were going to have a smoke machine and we didn't have any electricity. So our little smoke machine is literally sitting there. Maybe when the girls come, they can tell us where we can get the closest available source of power, but we don't know. But that's all I got for you guys now. Stay tuned for more stuff.